This is the future. Hi guys, well it's two days later and my one wall is finished, yay! I still have uh, six planks left, so tomorrow I'm going to take those six and put them in this section here. And whatever remains of the cutting short is going to be for the door. And then I'm going to build the door frame. And these door frames that goes in the front. And also put in my bar counter. Because I cannot um, build this door if the bar counter isn't in. Because it's going to make a difference. So today the time caught me a bit. But I built my door. So there's my door. And I've put it on uh, the hinge to make sure that it actually opens and closes. There's my one inch and the other hinge. <laughs> and unfortunately, wood being wood, as you guys can see, there's a gap. The whole thing is skew because the wood is skew. Um, but it's not a problem. I've put these extra pieces in here so that the door can stop so it cannot go any further and then all I have to do now is manipulate the whole thing with the planks that I'm going to cover up to close this gap so you will never know there's a gap. So today I just put up the brackets for the countertop and uh, yeah, as you can see everything is quite level. This whole place is level and every square is 90 degrees even though it doesn't look like it because of the wood pulling any which way it wants to. I mean you can even see this one should actually <laughs> go in like this but because of this plank twisting it looks a bit hooky but odd but what I wanted to show you I cannot believe I actually worked a bit to the bone literally this bit has been worn off. I found this very old um, safety lock that you find inside your metal gates, your steel security gates, and this one works perfectly. So because of the type of stuff that's going to be in here, I cannot allow this door to be easy breakable. This door is not going to be locked like your typical tool shed with a padlock outside. It will I ever have a padlock outside here at the bottom. But about here, we're going to insert this lock. And this door will be locked with a key, like you would lock a normal door. And we'll put the handle about there, and we'll put a padlock at the bottom there. Um, just to make sure this door is extra secure. So if they want to break in, they're going to have to either break the wall or break the hinges off. As you guys can see, the hinges are also nice and strong hinges. And my other concern now is these doors that's lying here that's going to be in the front is a long, um, a long horizontal door and this one is going to carry some weight so I need to go get some proper hinges either the correct hinges, those long ones that will support the door and stop it from doing this because it's going to carry some weight or I'm going to have to put three hinges on each side to make sure this door doesn't bend down and of course also brace it so uh, you guys will see later what what i planned or what i did we, we, we're still getting there i should really stop lying to myself i promised myself today i'm gonna rest i'm not gonna do anything today and then i ended up covering this part so far covering up the door so far i put in my bar counter and i made the two front doors Ah, just want to give you some info, just for interest sake, if you guys were wondering what tools I'm using to build this entire place, that's it. That's what I'm using to build this place. Except for the battery operated drill, 
that I use for screwing in the screws because can you imagine how tired my hand would be if I have to screw everything by hand? That's what I use. I don't have any electronic equipment otherwise. Some clamps that I use now and then a hammer. But that's basically what I'm using. Okay guys, so this is as far as I got today. Tomorrow we'll put two planks in there and then there we will have to do a different modification. And then this is what it looks like now that it's closed. So you don't see the lock anymore. So this is going to work very nicely. And to hide this imperfections, I'm going to put a, a plank over this one. That's about this broad. And it's going to cover up all this. It will also prevent the rain from coming in. I just finished this one door. It looks good on the camera, but trust me, it's not so good. The frame is fitting perfectly and then when I put in these planks, it started to bite onto the bottom part. Maybe it's better to give it a tight fit. Um, I can take a grinder or something and just file it down here at the bottom a little bit. Yeah, there's a TV bracket in there, you know why. I'm gonna put my display up there. And that's the reason why this door is a bit um, bigger than that one. And um, yeah, that's also why I chose these hinges. And I also have a third hinge in there. And that's not the other thing. The door was fitting fine, but the moment I put the hinge in, it created this gap and then this door didn't fit anymore so I actually had to um, cut this door smaller again just to compensate for the hinge so tomorrow we'll finish the other door let me show you what I've done so far I'm in the process of closing the back wall so only thing that I've added is that lock I've added this trim plate to hide away the imperfection of my cutting. I've added this plate in the corner to hide away any defects there. I have finished my two doors and I've added that in the middle because there was a bit of a, a gap. And at the end of the day, I don't want somebody to be able to put a crowbar or something in here and, and bend the doors open. So this was the only other option. I finished this side. And then as you guys can see, um, I'm busy with the back wall. That's as far as I got. Today I want to get at least halfway and then I'll finish tomorrow. And I'm still waiting for the roof. Of course, there has to be house rules. Please note rule one, rule two, and rule 10 is the most important rules in this place. And of course, rule seven. So uh, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just waiting for the roof and I'm finishing up the back wall. Well guys, I just wanna thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of the next upload and like this video if you liked it. And whatever you do, until next time guys, keep it safe. Cheers.